Mm-hmm. If you can't live, you can't make no babies, woman on woman and man on man. Woman got a better chance parthogenically. Right. Than man on man, for sure. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Ain't no ain't <laughs> ain't no man gonna get pregnant. Not at all. It's not gonna happen. That's why they steal it. That's why they kidnapping women and trying to steal their womb, going in there and taking their wounds and trying to see if they can create a way for men to be able to have babies and stuff. Just weird ass shit. Really, the truth of the matter about why they doing that is to um, put mud in your eye, so to speak. It's to make you so motherfucking mad at these motherfuckers that you just write all men off. Mm. A lot of women are writing the men off because of shit like that. That's not, that's a, uh, it's an abomination. You can't make it, you can't put it no other way. That's what they call in um, metaphysics, the great debauchery. Is to turn the children from the natural state into a state that's unnatural to them. <laughs> and a genetic fuck up from creating humans in the laboratory. Test two babies. They said a lot of people are is reporting Nibiru um, in the Colorado in the, sky. It wouldn't surprise me because all of the elders is in Cheyenne Mountains in Colorado at Raven Rock continuity of government. A lot of them is there. So this is where all of the action is. And then when Nibiru do, when not Nibiru, when the uh, ship coming from Nibiru, it's a jumper ship called the Crystal City. The <gasps> Crystal, the Crystal I'm sorry, City. we watching this thing on Netflix and it just like literally is called um, Another uh, another Life. It's called Another Life on Netflix and they t- it's a big crystallized, every time they pop up is big crystallized uh what do they call it? Uh, like cities, if that yep. a city or a whatever they call it, it's like a big crystallized thing. And they call, they keep mentioning jump ship. So when you said that, it just like I don't know what led us to watch that, but we started watching it. And I'm like, okay. So they kind of I don't know. It's a confirmation. My bad. <laughs> Look, they talking about Noah's Ark was um on the waters and all that shit, right? In Genesis 7, 17, I think it is, it say that Noah's ark was taken up into the heavens. Mm. That's in Genesis. In Revelations, the new Jerusalem descends from the clouds as a bride adorned for a groom. So it's the return of the ark or the great crystal city. The Great Crystal City is the city of gold. That's when you follow the yellow brick road, you find Emerald City, right? Mm-hmm. That's because the uh, Crystal City is gonna land in Colorado on Emerald Lake. Mm. Mm-hmm. Come through. Now, the county—I forgot the name of the county. I think it's called uh, Bow County or something like that. But the county is shaped like the Liberty Bell with a crack in it. I'm just saying, go look that shit up. You be sitting there talking, oh shit, wow, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> look, you you remember the big building Apple built under Steve Jobs, and like a big ass donut on the ground? Yeah, yeah. It's another ship that's supposed to land right in the middle of it that fits perfect. That's just a reconstruction of an old Atlantean um, landing pad. Mm. And all this shit about to come to a grand finale. And we're going to see motherfuckers from varying different places that don't look like us at all. I saw you. I know this cat. I know this brother from somewhere. I don't know where they come from. Well, I got tires up in, up in Chi, South Side of Chicago. That's my mm-hmm. stopping ground. Move down here to the M Town. I call it Orange Mound, Tennessee. That's where I'm from. Mm-hmm. And uh, so, uh, 
Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna say some shit that some people gonna might be would might be embarrassed about or wouldn't want to talk about. Say it. I'm so all I, with that. Yeah, it did right because that's what needs to be done. So I came in to to this Moore's movement and uh, got fucked around from some folks trying to sell them goddamn packages and whatnot, right? Yeah. And uh, started trying to do the study on my own. And uh, so I'm a little perplexed about that shit. Cause I'm not really overstanding all that until I started listening to you. And I'm like, hold up. Start. He, it seemed like he connected some dots for me. Because you've been seeing me trying to rap with you, right? Mm-hmm. If if you had you 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 remember me trying to rap with you, right? I'm not for sure because I got so many people I can't keep yeah. up with everybody. Right, 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 right. So I'm trying to connect the dots of how we're supposed to go about overstanding. Are we are we using this term more? Are we more? Do I need to be doing this paperwork, which I already did, and I did that shit. Um. And, um, you know, am, am, am I supposed to be sending this shit to, to such and such and such? Or, you know, how am I supposed to be doing that shit, man? Because, like... It's, it's prep, our, we overthrowing their system with our system. Their system requires you to file paperwork with them. Right. Our system requires us to make public notice in the public domain for the people to see when we tell them what the situation is. So when we assert our sovereign status, we don't need no paperwork. We do it by public notice. Public notice is is, is um, valid in every one of their court systems. Notice to agent is notice to principal. When you put it on the public in the public forum, if any one of their agents come across it by accident or on purpose, they all been notified. So you saying like what through the newspaper or the the city council or? Social media, look, social media is a viable form of archivable public notice to be recorded with timestamps. So, shit, I haven't done that then. Mm hmm. Yep. So, all on the public, you know, on social media, letting them know I'm Morris, blah, blah, blah. Mm hmm. So, let me, let me give you a little background about the Moors. So, if you know the history, you remember that some guys came to Noble Drew Ali trying to get the magic word from him, what they call the, the, the sacred word. And this led to a schism between two factions of so-called Moors. But let's go back a little further. Noble Drew Ali was first a Moor in New Jersey under the Moor Zionist temple. And when he seen what they was doing, he was able to put it in the public domain. You remember him say, I, I unveiled all the secret societies and put it in the public domain? Yeah, right. Right. So that's in oral statements and prophecies. Everything they was doing in secret, he instructed people to put it in the public in a systematic format so we could see what's going on behind the scenes. These was the ones who used the police to arrest him, but they they the ones that killed him, beat him like that. Right. Trying to trying to make him give them the word. Right? But he don't even know what the word is that he got. He just know he got it. Okay. He don't know what it is, but he know he got it. And the only reason he know he got it because they all coming for him. So this what made Elijah Muhammad form FOI. Because we needed somebody that was paramilitary that could defend against the JDL. Defense League was the more Zionist out of New Jersey and New York. They have a whole community, gated community of trillionaire Negroes in upstate New York that's Zionist Moors. They the ones pulling the strings behind the scenes. They got another community just outside of Newark, New Jersey, you won't never see them because you can't get in a community because it's fenced in. Mm -hmm. So when they come in our community, they come in our communities as teachers. They come in our community as uh, leaders and all kind of shit. And they always misleading us to the slaughter on purpose. 
So when Noble Drew Ali say get a good Moorish education, he telling us study these motherfuckers thoroughly from beginning to end. Right? So I studied them all the way back to Etruscan Moors, through the Ottoman Empire, through the Arabian Peninsula, across North Africa, I end up in La Palma. And the Palma is where the Stargate they came through at. They meaning who? The ones that don't belong here, they come from what we call a mirror dimension. Okay. Their genetics is backwards from ours. When they came here, they didn't look like us. But when we killed them and they was reborn, they looked like us. Okay. All right. So them was the original invaders. They were conjured up by some motherfuckers that looked like us. Meaning the portal was opened by some motherfuckers that looked like us. That yeah. was upset because they was not from the royal house. So, see, I had got that story before. I don't mean to cut you off, but I got that story before that the niggas were really behind the scene is niggas that look like us. It's not them motherfucking Albion. Right. Those was the cat's paw. Right. That's how they kept us out of the lodges. And only they knew which lodges to go in, and they always went in through the back door. Oh, fuck. So when they have in their lodge meetings, they got all of these pale people in there. So we invited Europeans over here in mass so we could underrun and overrun all of their institutions with Europeans. With the and pale that's them motherfuckers, right? Huh? That's them clandestine motherfuckers, right? The ones that came, the, the, the ones that we called over here or the ones that came over here with the invaders? I don't know which which one is it. The ones we called over here is the ones came over with the Great Migration in Ellis Island. The reason we called them over here because they already kicked them out of Europe. Right. Okay. Since they already kicked are, them out of Europe, they they know what they was doing. And those are the ones that are clandestine. Well, all of them clandestine, so to speak, because clandestine means secret. Okay. You I mean it's to yeah. do something and it's to do a whole operation in secret. Okay. Right. So the the ones they brought over here with them, they called them Tawny Moors. And the and the ones that brought them was called Blackamoors. Okay. But together they all conquistadors. Conquistadors, right, the conquistadors, okay. Right. So the ones that was leading the charge as the conquistadors was the Blackamoors because they was the strategists. The, um, they were the navigators of the seas, like Petro del Negro on, uh, with Columbus. They look like us. They ain't us. They right. don't vibe like us. They frequency different. We know who we is when we meet each other. Right? Right. So... um the settlements that they set up over here and we was warring with them. I mean, bloody feud, bloody wars. Like look at the Seminole Wars was 300 consecutive years of nonstop action. Mm -hmm. Right. They end up leveling all of the trees in Florida. Like people don't even know that Florida used to have um, trees like New Orleans in the swamp. And then there was people that lived there that lived in huts and rode around on canoes like cars because they cut all the trees down so they could see across the land because they was getting their ass kicked. Mm -hmm. You know, so we had to do something different. The difference was that they challenged us to a conjure war to stop the bloodletting. And then they started bloodletting rituals after they signed the agreements. Which violated every kind, every what they call treaty, right? So now you gotta look at the circumstances surrounding the treaty of peace and friendship. And Morocco wasn't Morocco when that was signed, contrary to popular opinion. There was no country in Africa called Morocco proper right. as it is now. That country is a little over hundred years old. Right. In the flag that they're telling us is the Moorish flag that you got over your shoulder right there, that flag only have their star on it a little over 100 years because right. the 
Right. So they used to fly a plain red flag. Right. Right. And then they put the, right. So they they systematically reconstructed our history in front of our face. So see, this is the shit that I'm trying to put together, man, because like <clears throat> I didn't think that we should be fucking with, you know, the uh uh the more temple, the the the, the actual more science temple and fucking with a temple or whatnot. I'm just not clear on all this shit, and I'm trying to make sure I get this shit right and be doing the right thing. Okay, let's look at it. After Noble Jew Ali departed, they incorporated the um, they incorporated under the United States Corporation the more science science, science temple, right? But when Noble Jew Ali founded it, it was the Holy Temple of Science, the Moorish Holy Temple of Science. Mm -hmm. They incorporated the holy, I mean, um, the Moorish Science Temple, a religious organization. It wasn't a religious organization when Noble Drew Ali founded it. It was a civics organization. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. What the fuck you go to religion for? Why are you calling that shit religion? Because you got to know who control religion. Rome, re all religions spring out of Rome. There's only three religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Oh, right. Right? Christianity is the oldest of the three. They had to create a backstory, so they wrote the Judaism doctrine mm -hmm. to give the Christians a backstory. But the backstory undermined the Christian doctrine. Right. And then they came with that damn Islam. And then they came with Islam. So now they brought all three of them over here in waves to make sure we well divided amongst each other based on a religious controversy. Remember reading that in Circle 7? Yes, sir. Right. And once you caught it in a religious controversy, the side effect is something called misery. Remember that? Weak and insufficient as thou art and good, oh man. There's one thing in which you are firm and fixed, and his name is misery. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Right. So those are the, those are not even those are from um, uh, unto the I grant the economy of life, which is originally a work done by Menotep the Third, that was kept in the archives in Tibet. They got over here because Noble Drew Ali was able to get a message over the water. As you know, he was a merchant marine, as they say, a man right. that traveled the seas. That just means he was a he learned how to navigate. Right, he knew how to navigate the seas. That means he can read the signs and the stars and match them to the shit going on on the ground. Right. So when when he got a hold of that, he was able to use parts of it to tell the story of what's going on in our community without telling us directly it's coded. We got to break that code. Yeah, it's already broke. Right. So the Morris Science Temple, going back to the Morris Temple of Science, then they tried to say it was the Canaanite Temple first. Right. It wasn't the Canaanite Temple because the Canaanite Temple was under the Morris Zionist movement. Exactly. But he ain't a Zionist. He's a Cherokee high chief. So now you see the, that we had to take that shit over. So we had to duel with the with the bays and the ales. Mm -hmm. And the bays is the ones that wore the feathers and the ales wore the fezzes. When you go to the Washington Memorial, Masonic Memorial in D.C., you see all of the responsible parties' fezzes is hanging up in the... Um, Masonic Temple because them the Moors that made the agreement. You won't find the feathers though. Right. And what the hell did they try to keep that from being known for so that we wouldn't really uh, understand? We that. ain't supposed to know who he is. We supposed to think we came over on ships and be so firmly <laughs> convinced at this time that we can't stand up for our own self shit. Exactly. That's what I was coming to. Okay. 
But since we know who we are, because we know who Noble Drew Ali was, we know who Empress Bertie Asi was, we know who Charles Mosley Bay was, we know who Ravana Bay is, we know who um, um, Taj Tariq Bay is, you know, we know who's telling us the the corporation is a legal fiction operating in a de facto capacity under the color of law, violating all the laws of their own books. We know that they recruit us to do their criminal activity, then charge us with crimes, which is also against the laws of their own books. Because the government can't commit a crime to arrest you for committing that crime. It's called entrapment. Got us hustling backwards like a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. So I know I can't take up all this live rapping with you, but man, I really got to, I really want to get with, I wish that I could get with you in some kind of way so I could be directed in the right way and, 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 and speak properly. You know what I'm saying? On who and what I am and what we are, period. And as well as helping people to come to this overstanding. Well, the main things you need to know, if somebody trying to get you to do 